Again, our, our goal for the last number of years is wanting as a congregation to get to know some of the international students that are with us and be able to learn a little bit about you, about your family, your hometown. I know even we talked a little bit about agriculture, of everything from carrots in the fields. We don't grow a lot of carrots around here. Uh, but it's just really interesting to know different things like that. It's some of the different Christmas traditions that you have. So again, I thank you for being willing to share with us today. You know, it's not the easiest thing to share in a different language, in a different place. I wouldn't be able to do that very well, but I thank you that you are willing to do that. And with that, I'll let you introduce yourself to the congregation. Okay, I'm Alina, I'm 15 years old, and I spent this year here in Minnesota. Just talk as close as you can, right? Into the and today I will tell you something about Christmas traditions in Germany. Okay, I live in Germany and this is a country in Europe. And Germany is 137,988 square miles big and 83 million people live there. And the capital city is Berlin and we have 16 states. And normally you will see me now on the world map and you will see Germany. And I live in the western part of Germany and I live near to Cologne and Düsseldorf, so I live really near to the Netherlands, like 30 minutes. Okay, I think I will do this just without pictures now. <laughs> Um, I live in a house with my family, I have a younger brother, and I live in a really small village, so it's really similar to here. We have a lot of kids. Oh, there's a road map, you can see where Germany is. <laughs> and I live in North Westphalia, so this is the uh, Orange State. And <laughs> Yeah, there you can see a picture of my house and me with my family in Germany. This is food that a lot of people eat at Christmas. So this is just mashed potatoes with pork and coal. And the other picture is fish with fried potatoes and spinach. And this are just two examples. So but that was most of the people are eating at Christmas. And in Germany, Christmas yeah. evening is more important than Christmas morning. We have everything to go to church at Christmas evening, have Christmas dinner, yeah. get our presents. And this is a tradition that most of you know too. But the Christmas tree was first a tradition in Germany and now most of the countries have the Christmas tree in the Christmas time. And this is a Christmas market in my hometown, so the first picture. It's really small and there are like six different things where you can buy things. But a lot of people visit these Christmas markets in the Christmas time to buy handmade things, Christmas decoration, or just new friends and eat them. And the other picture is a Christmas market in Cologne. It's much bigger and thousands of people visit this every year. These are three examples for foods that you can eat there. So on top you can see foods with chocolate or mushrooms and the drink it's with alcohol and cinnamon. So that's what a lot of people are eating or drinking there. And these are some examples that I bake with my family every year at Christmas. These are cinnamon stars, cookies with jam, cookies with vanilla, or cookies, they look like sugar cookies, but my whole family told me that it tastes different. <laughs> and some people know this tradition too, but this event calendar, every kid in Germany has one and some older people have one too, so it's really normal and, yeah. And lots of people have the average calendars. And we have one Christmas tradition at the 6th December that little children put their shoes the day before in front of the door with carrots for the year. 
Christmas and cookies for St. Nicholas. And the next morning when they wake up, they go to the door and have the shoes with little presents, candy and chocolate. And this, most of you know this too, but it's like the red calendar, all people in Germany have this. And light the candle every Sunday. Well, again, thank you for being able to share a little bit of this. Thank you for being able to share. So again, thank you. sometimes it's a little bit hard for us to hear and hear, but being able to know some of the traditions of like the Christmas tree that really originated in Germany and spread to the rest of the world. So all of us that enjoy having a Christmas tree in our house can thank Germany for that. It's a nice thing, and also, of course, having the advent calendars are really big there, and the different advent wreaths as well, and a, and a big emphasis on Christmas evening, right, being the time of celebration and presents opening instead of Christmas morning. And I always like that tradition, too, except it's it's December 6th, it's St. Nicholas Day, so that's the time that you can't quite wait until Christmas to come. You can set up shoes on December 6th and be able to get some special goodies and treats that time. And it must be catching on because I was I was in Target a couple weeks ago and noticed there was little shoes that were for like little porcelain shoes that were for sale in the Christmas area. It must be for a similar thing. And so that was that was pretty nice. But before you go down, I'm just just briefly it'd be nice to know um, maybe you, like, what is, what's one thing that's a little bit difficult being here in the States versus being in Germany? So cold here. The weather? <laughs> right, so the weather's a big difference? Yeah. Not quite used to the freezing cold temperatures? No. Oh, there no. we go. And you don't have snow normally? Yeah, right, just a couple of days of snow. So some of us would find that. Very good. But we, yeah, we definitely appreciate you being able to share some of the German Christmas traditions with us. We're thankful that you can be here as well and part of our community. and. Certainly our welcome goes out to you and everyone and know that we'll be praying for you and your family as you're, you're spending Christmas apart, but you're with your new family here as well. So again, let's thank Elena for sharing with us today.